If your fire alarm goes off, call your pets and give them a treat. Eventually they will come when the alarm goes off, saving you from wasting time looking for pets during an evacuation. If a bee or wasp lands on you, blow on them to get them off instead of slapping and they won't retaliate. If you sweat a bee, they're honor bound to try and kill you. If you blow on them really hard so they fall off of you, they just think you're a particularly windy person and will go perch somewhere else, no hard feelings. I find it difficult to scream and blow at the same time. I'll try though. For you. If your dog destroys their tennis balls, switch to racket balls. They are virtually indestructible and don't get nasty when wet. Fat an English bulldog who loved to chew racket balls. Problem was, he would get them up to the front of his mouth and shoot them like a cannon. He broke a pair of glasses right off my face. That is the best thing I've heard all week. You should have taken him down to the court and used him as a ball machine. If you're taking your animal to the vet for an ailment, get video of them coughing, breathing strangely, limping, etc. Animals may not show the ailment at the vet's office and the video can help the vet diagnose your furry friend. Pediatrician here. Please also do the same when bringing your children in to see us. A lot of the time, kids get really nervous and won't cough or take deep breaths when in the office. If I don't hear anything on exam but can see a video of your kid at home with a barky cough, which sometimes only is there at night or when agitated, you just saved yourself an x-ray. Place the back of your hand on the pavement. If you can't hold it there for more than 5 seconds, it's too hot to walk your dog. Not 100% certain you're ready for the responsibility of adopting a pet? Try fostering first. It costs you nothing, and enriches the pet's lives even if you don't ultimately adopt. Many shelters have programs where individuals can foster a pet free of charge. The shelters will pay for the pet's vet bills and food, and in exchange, a, uh, the pet lives with you, and, b, you agree to bring the pet to adoption events so that others can consider providing the pet a forever home. Ask dog owners before petting dogs in public. I hate it when parents let their kids run up and pet my standard poodle without asking. As soon as I see it happening, I grab his leash tight, look at the parents in panic, and shout, he really doesn't like kids and pull him away. The parents come running over afraid that their child is going to be bitten. In actuality, my poodle is the sweetest boy ever and loves meeting people. I just try to teach irresponsible parents a little lesson. When you go to the zoo, wear the same colors as the employees do. The animals will come right up to you instead of backing away. Do the exact opposite at Target for the exact same reason. Don't walk your dog on roads and walks where rock salt is used to melt snow and ice, it will cut up the pads on your dog's paws. Also, as a concrete finisher, I see dogs run through fresh concrete quite a bit. Owners think it's funny or cute but I have to tell them to go wash the concrete off immediately. The chemical reactions of concrete hardening will burn their paws and be quite painful to them. Luckily there's usually water around to wash it off. Play with your puppy or kitten's paws frequently while they are as young as possible to get them used to it. This will make things like nail clipping much easier. Later. Do this. Trying to hold down a 100 eyed dog to clip their nails while they fight back with the strength of the Dothraki fighting in an open field is not fun. Only a fool would do that. Like me.